This spoken word is titled, The Song from the Throne Room, The Hearts Beats of God. There was a song being sung by the angels, and God loved the song. Wouldn't it be great to hear the song on the lips of mortals, he asked. I know a man, said an angel. He's on his knees currently praying for a song. Let me drop it in his heart, and he will take it to the ends of the earth. Elohim nodded in consent. And the Mokobe song was downloaded to the mortal man. True to the words of the angel, the mortal man took the song, gathered the finest vocalists, sound engineers, bandsmen, and prayer warriors, and he set the song on fire. And just like the little foxes of Samson, he set the whole country ablaze with the song, the song from the very throne room of God himself. But somewhere in a village, a woman watched her daughter, she saw her struggle to play, struggle to breathe, struggle even just to live. The child had a heart problem, and only surgery could repair it. Surgery costs lots of money, and this mother doesn't have any money. She watches her daughter, wondering which day would be the last one, which breath would be the last one, would her child ever sing? Would she pass away during the night or in the day? Would she be home or called home from work that her child was dead? The woman knelt down and prayed. She prayed to the God who sits on the throne, in the throne room. In another place, a boy watched his age mates playing. He looked at them longingly, wistfully, hoping, praying that someday, someday, he would be able to play football too. He would be able to dribble like Ronaldinho. Score like Messi, dance like Asamajan, flex like Ciro, and pose like Haaland. But no, the fewest steps would make him too breathless, too breathless to do anything but sit and watch his friends. He had heard his mom and dad crying, crying about him dying. He couldn't really understand. All he knew was that he was sick, tired, skinny, and always blue, just a step away from death. He raised his small, feeble voice one night and said, God, please help me. In the throne room, the Savior of men's hearts looked at Almighty and said, Father, these kids, I died for them. By my stripes, they are healed. Let's answer their prayers. My heart beats for them. Almighty was moved to compassion as he saw the tears in the eyes of the saver of hearts, the one in whom he was well pleased. I need a man, said Elohim. There is a man, said the angel. There is a man on his knees. Let's send him again. He will go. Elohim nodded and the angel was sent once again. That night, the man couldn't sleep. He tossed and turned. He felt in his heart that he must save hearts of little kids. He must give little kids a new lease in life and give them breath to sing. But how, who, where, when? Once again, he gathered a team of people, people to help reach out to all the little kids crying out to God. And slowly, the master healer, Rafa himself, worked with the man to save hearts of little children. There was Frimpong and God's way, Samira and Godfred, Blessing and Loretta, but it wasn't enough. Then Janet and Frederick, Elizabeth and Abdul, and Rokina and Ya and Chris and Mahamadu, but it still wasn't enough. Then there was Jace and Nanama and Elizabeth and Nanaya, Ivana and finally Esther. Twenty kids, twenty kids' hearts were saved with surgeries done, with funds raised by Ni Okain. Almighty asked for 20, but the man said, no, I give you 21. And he added sweet little Cadmiel to the list of children whose hearts he had saved. 21 beating hearts, 21 hearts free to be anything. Lawyers, pastors, musicians, prayer warriors, footballers, you name it. These 21 children can be it because they have breath in their body now. 21 kids to discover for us the cure of AIDS, cancer, and solve all our economic woes. 21 kids to sing the song from the throne room. 21 kids to sing, I worship you, I worship you. For with you, none can compare. In wisdom, in love, in beauty, and in strength, oh Lord, none compares to you. What do you say? Let's save another heart tonight. Let's get one more kid to sing Mukube. Amen. God bless you. Ah. Uh -huh. 
ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Minister Neil Kai.
invite two of my brothers here uh, one who is like uh, my best man but he's the producer director of the night but I insisted that he will sing tonight you know you're going to do what I call the rain medley a song that will take us all the way to my fourth album holy writing and then the very um, should I say the most recent album revealing Jesus so if Pastors Conti, and we'll be followed there by Pastor Isaiah too. Around. Do we have Team Jesus around? Hey, hey. Oh, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus.
kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our God and of His Christ and of His Christ He will reign forever the kingdom say kingdom of the
or appreciate them in the name of Jesus. Wow. Nanaya, if you are here, help me welcome the original. <laughs> and then Abigail, my sister from Trailblazers, the pride of the SDA family. <laughs> Abigail, wow. Awesome, awesome. Now get ready to move from your seats because something is about to hit you. And there's the day who is also in the team who will come later. Woo!
Help me welcome Calvis Hamon and Eugene Zuta. Ha! 
the petty minute. Can me wanna hell a comet? Sopranos in the house. Oh, oh, oh. 